Hey guys, Ibra here and welcome to Ibra Sketch. We have our Jack Craval, Cavalli, Jack, whichever one you call it. And I just have the tail bit because I had to cut it in half so that it can fit in my freezer. It's really big. So I'm gonna scale this fish and fillet it and cut it up into cubes because it's gonna be a catch and cook video. But of course, I'm gonna show you how I caught this fish right now. Hey. But I come here, come on, come on. 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 Going on, and you go here, cut, go here, cut small man. Come, 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 So first off, I'm gonna scale the fish because I want to keep the scales on it and I don't have my scale with me so I'm gonna be using a fork and just go against the grain. So I think I did the best that I could. Now I'm just gonna wash off the table a bit and then we're gonna start cutting. So this is all I'll actually be cooking this round. So this time, I'm just gonna be using half, half of the fillet. The other half I'm gonna save it for a rainy day, another good day. And I'm gonna be saving this carcass also to make a soup with. That's gonna be fun. But let's head into the kitchen and season up our fish so that we can curry it, have some curry fish and jasmine rice. It's gonna be good.
So this is our seasoning. We have an onion, garlic, ginger, big leaf thyme, shadow benny, rosemary, and small leaf thyme. So I'm gonna get that in a blender and blend it up into little pieces. But before, this is our dry seasoning. I'm gonna put some salt. Pepper, black pepper. Cayenne pepper. Some turmeric. And a little bit of curry powder to season it before we actually curry it also. So I have our dry. I'm gonna get this in a, the blender and blend it up a little bit and then we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, we have our seasons chopped up. It's So we just added curry powder, saffron powder, and amchar, and let that um, cook a little bit to get all the flavor out of it. And it's smelling really good. The pot is it's really smoking. So time to put our fish in. around to get everything covered brown and it smells so good it smells so so good I can't wait to taste it so this, this is my first time actually cooking a uh, tabali like of this size and cooking it this way also. So I'm going to leave that on a slow burner and cover it and let it soak in all the flavor and juices 
and it will create its own water and then I'll add a little bit of more water and a little bit of coconut powder Alright, so now we're going to add in our coconut milk coconut powder mixed with water and this is the coconut powder so we're just going to add it in just a little bit to give it a little flavor and then you let that marinate in this and simmer down it smells so good So our fish is done, so now we have a bed of rice on our plate, now we're going to just get a nice scoop of everything, put it right on, on the middle. We try and get some sauce. lunch let's eat so I'm just gonna stand right here and dive into it I'm so excited because it's my first time trying it so let's get a spoon of the rice and the fish it's still super hot wow It doesn't even taste so much like fish. It's more like a like a meaty, like like beefy kind of feel. Like it's it's very firm, very tough. Well not so tough, but it's really firm. A really holy flavor well but it tastes so good I'm so excited about this I'm excited to use the rest of that fish in a broth or maybe use the next slab on the grill so you might see that in another video I really want to try using the next slab on the grill like like if it's ribs because it's like so sturdy that I think it will be able to take that pressure Finally, I've been waiting so long to catch a big cavalli, take it home, and cook it. And I finally got the opportunity. But thank you guys so much for coming into another Hooked on Sunday video. I pray you guys stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, stay sanitized. But I'll see you guys next week.